and the saga continues. We going to keep talking about Hassan Campbell. Now, this weirdo is now saying that Gilly the Kid sacrificed his son to get that $100 million check. Now, uh, I do believe in some conspiracies where, you know, sometimes it, 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 it does. Now, 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 one thing that I can admit, it, it does always seem like right when someone career takes off, a family member always seems to pass. That does seem to be the case in certain situations. But in this situation, I don't feel like that's that. But who do I know? It could be, it couldn't. But in just in my belief, I think it's just, just the wrong place at the wrong time. But of course, Hassan Campbell is going to be disrespectful. And he's going to say anything just to get clicks and views. So now he's going to the internet, going to the platform, accusing Gilly the Kid, sacrificing his son just to get that $100 million check. That last live I did was so powerful, it shook the internet because I used receipts from celebrities. Listen to the passion in Takashi's face when he's telling you, you have to sit down with the devil. I agree with that part. I can't lie. I, I, I definitely agree with uh, 6 9 on that part. But here comes Hassan Campbell. Boy, he about to take this and run with it at a whole nother direction. You have to. So if every A-list celebrity who made it to the top is telling you that you have to go through Satan's door, how y'all gonna blame me for believing in what they educated and taught me to teach you? Y'all don't see how I'm being targeted? Y'all don't see how I'm being attacked? Well deserved, in my opinion. Well deserved. How are you gonna cry wolf after all the stuff and all the all the stuff that you said about people? How disrespectful for you. Now you want people to feel sympathy because you get in the same energy that you give other people. You miss me with all that. I don't care that you're being attacked. I don't care that you're being targeted. You deserve it. <laughs> you just highly disrespectful. You deserve it. Now, you don't deserve anything happening to you, to you or your kids. Absolutely not. But people have the right to give their opinion, to voice their opinion, just like you give your opinion about everybody else. You think these websites, all these people attacking me like that? Why do you think everybody sitting up there attacking a little gay boy? Saying that that's my son, Campbell's son. Even Vlad put the post up. That's not my son. That's somebody else's son. And the sad part about it is, y'all watch images or listen to Meek Mills with a white boy talking about how they be humping each other under blankets and holding each other from the back. Which I got a problem with me. Or oh, better yet, you take a child, right? That's not my son. That's somebody else's man. Ooh, maybe I should make that into another video. Yeah, I'm going to make that part into another video. Let me skip this. <laughs> the situation that happened, I was no more insensitive than Gillian Wilder was towards takeoff and offset with Jay Prince. Am I wrong? Keep on going. Like, I don't even think you understand. Can I tell me that I was insensitive to a situation that happened? I was no more insensitive than Gillian Wilder was to a takeoff and offset with Jay Prince. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You a 50 something year old man. Just because somebody did something, don't mean you should do it. Are you that easily controlled? You don't have self-control. You don't have morals. You don't have principles. Just because somebody else do it, now, now you're going to blame your actions on somebody else? That's childish. That means that you're not a tribal leader, like you always say that you are. You're 50-something years old, and you're di dictating, dictating your actions because 
based off on what somebody else did, that's a poor excuse deflection. That's called not taking responsibility. So once again, now he's insinuating that Gilly the Kid sacrificed his kid for a hundred million dollars check. Of course, Hassan Kamal being disrespectful. Hey, but damn, it makes back to party. It's just like that. That's a prime example right there. When you die, look how fast life goes on. When you die, look how fast life goes on. Did y'all watch the video? I didn't have enough time to get the video. Go find the video where Gilly and Wallow signed the check for the hundred million dollars. Why was Gilly crying like that? Why was he crying like somebody just died? When he signed that check for a hundred million dollars, Gilly wasn't crying like I'm happy yo yo we made it. He was crying like somebody died. I didn't find the video. I'm gonna say it again. When he cried. He cried like somebody died. You ever seen somebody get a hundred million dollar check and cry like somebody passed away? Come on, man. In the Bible, again, it says that it's easier for the camel to get through the eye of an eating than it is for a rich man to get into paradise. I didn't come here to apologize to y'all, to them. Since it's about timing, since they back to partying, I'm not coming with disrespect towards them. I'm coming with the truth. If you don't like it, log out. Shout out to the 5,000 people in the building. If you don't like it, log out. Uh, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. You say these outlandish, outrageous things, and then you cry when people say things about you. You ain't as tough as you say that you are, because you sure do cry when people make videos about you. But then when you make videos about other people, you expect nothing to happen or nobody to respond back. If you ain't called a body, don't talk to me about the streets. The boy, I swear he says the dumbest stuff. If you ain't called a body, don't talk to me about the streets. This is the tribal leader. The only way that you can talk about the streets is if you kill somebody. This is the stupid stuff that, what? 
you're 50 years old still bragging about immature, stupid gang life. Like, this is him just being hi hypocritical, just saying stupid stuff. If you ain't never sold drugs in the streets, don't talk to me about the streets. If you ain't never been a stick-up kid, if you ain't never did a bit, don't talk to me about the streets. Stay your ass on the curb and stay out of street business. You can't give your opinion on the streets if you ain't been in the streets. Now, let me say, let me, let me say something to you, right? How are you going to give your opinion about hip-hop when you've never been hip-hop? He's 25 years old. Listening to this audio, he just said out of his old words, Yo, I'm, I gotta move different in these streets. Listen to it. Matter of fact, listen to him again. Cause it sound like this young boy knew he had beef. It depends on who you is. For niggas like me and rappers, there's a lot of hate. So now y'all love him after y'all murdered him, Philly. Philly, Philly. Y'all love him after y'all murdered him. He just said out of his mouth. For niggas like me, it's a lot of hate. So if he knew he was hating the hood, why did you go back? The streets where he from a Philly. He gotta move like that because the streets didn't have no love for him. Now all over the internet, y'all acting like y'all love me, y'all cowards. That boy just said out of his own mouth the streets of Philly didn't love him. He gotta move with five niggas with guns. Legal guns. So he don't get his man strapped up. He said these streets is tricky. Yeah, they streaky, they tricky, because niggas will show you love. It's how they fool thugs before you know what you're lying in a pool of blood. Go up a love where I'm from, Marcy, son. Ain't nothing nice. Don't nobody bring this shit to y'all like I bring it to y'all on the internet. That's why niggas is mad. I'm not gonna stop being who I am. So y'all can stay in your comfort zone. The whole industry right now is looking at me and talking about me. You know why? Because that door, it's the door. That was the worst, first, first thing they could have did. Was leaked information about the door. It's not telling you about the door and about the sacrifices. The door, the door, the door. <laughs> You want to go through that door so bad, don't you? You, boy, hey, hey. See, the uh, thing about Hassan Campbell that's funny, if Hassan Campbell would have got a rap contract earlier in his career, I bet you he would have did it. I bet you he would have been rapping, talking about all this gangbanging stuff. The reason why Hassan Campbell's keep talking about this hip-hop stuff because hip-hop don't want to accept him. So since, you know, he can't be on... You know, be in, be in the industry. Now he attacks the industry. You can tell that Hassan Campbell is jealous of a lot of successful people that are out there being that that are out here doing hip hop. I guarantee you, if somebody would have signed Hassan Campbell because he said that he used to rap, he used to do all this stuff, but he didn't make it. So since he didn't make it, now he's hating on everybody who did. That's just my opinion. That young boy was sacrificed, man. And let me explain to y'all again for you to understand sacrifices. That doesn't mean that the person that shot them came directly from some type of Illuminati meeting. No. It's like faces of death. What's that contract to sign? And you made that sacrifice for that money? You don't know who the angel of death is going to put in a situation and allow them to die and snatch their soul. That's how it works. So this is the part where Hassan Campbell is insinuating that Gilly the Kid sacrificed his son for a hundred million dollars. I told you, Michael Jordan's Michael Jordan father in the robbery, the way he died, that didn't necessarily mean that the Illuminati sent them dudes to do that. No, the angel of death allowed the situation to happen, created the situation, it snatched his soul. Y'all don't get it? It's like Final Destination. Why do you think everybody's so mad at that live that I did? Everybody's talking about me talking about, I'm just little Hassan Campbell. Now you got the Breakfast Club, you got everybody in their mother talking about me. Why? Because I'm spilling the beans and I'm giving the secrets. Fat Joe told you, the gay mafia runs hip hop. It's just amazing how Fat Joe breaks down. I'll save that for his own, his ghostwriter. I ain't gotta tell nobody else's story. Stay tuned to TA. I'll let you tell him, I'll let him tell about Fat Joe, that's not my place. But there's a whole lot of secrets getting ready to come out. A whole lot of secrets. This music industry is not what it appears to be. Those are the words of Kashi. Y'all can't get mad at me for believing in what these people tell us. Y'all can't get mad at Hope is 4-5th. All right, so there you go, man. Uh, yeah, I'm about to definitely make a lot more videos. Because like I said, man, we going to uh, make a lot of reaction videos to Hassan Campbell. 
I mean, this is this is what you want, Hassan Campbell, right? You want people to make videos about you. You want to be in the algorithm. Well, you got to take the good with the bad. And uh, yeah, if y'all enjoy these videos, we got a lot more to go. I'm going to make another video about him saying that that's, that's not his son. And we're going to have another conversation about that whole trans transgender thing. But this is Hassan Campbell insinuating that Gilly the Kid sacrificed his son for $100 million. Y'all leave a comment down below. Do y'all agree with Hassan Campbell or do you disagree? We got a lot more videos to go. I'm about to here. Peace.